There's um. It's pretty. It was. It, it was. I, I. I don't even know what it was. It was so fast, and and there was a uh, there was a hunter, and it was just. Oh, Abby. Here. What? Oh, try drawing. Drawing what? Oh, uh, can you draw what attacked you? Nick, hey, buddy, can you tell us what happened? I'm a little attacked. What's happy? I'm super out of it, man. We need to know what happened. All right. There was. There was a guy there, but. There was some kind of. Some kind of animal. The hell? What fucking kind of animal does this? Did I, did I get it? It's Abby? Yeah, she, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. Uh, because teeth were on top of me. I think she was a bear. Close size bear would crush him. There's no way. I, I thought we don't get bears right here. Oh, fuck. Look at that. Oh, fuck. shit. That black stuff? That's that's infection. That's And it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. Apply pressure. Uh, sorry. Uh, sorry. He's turning. It's okay. Mm, fuck that. Hat. We should amputate. We should cut it off before the infection spreads. What? Dismiss it. Why would we do that? I don't know, man. Look at that black stuff. What? What do you think it is? Do I look like a doctor? Use it. Sort of. Why would you say that? Ryan, what if it's Jacob or Emma? What if it's not? But be careful. I used to look. Just don't shoot. It was probably nothing. Yeah. But is it gone? Yeah, you better run. Very brave. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Lodge is sounding pretty good right about now, yeah? Put your phone down. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't shoot, don't shoot. I'm here to save you. <laughs> Holy shit. Nick. Is he okay? Nick and Abby were attacked. In the woods. Hey, does anybody have any dry clothes? I'm, I'm fucking freezing. All our bags are still in the minivan. <sighs> Fuck, of course they are. Questioning. So wait, what happened to you? Right, right, okay, so. Like I was saying, okay? I heard Abby screaming, so I came running. Like as fast as I could. From the lake. Yeah, and then and then out of nowhere, I stepped into this like, I don't know, like a like a booby trap, like some sort of hunter's trap. The goddamn thing snared my leg, hoisted me halfway into the tree, just zoop. So I'm hanging there, half naked, and then this guy with like a fucking machete comes right up to me, looks me right in the fucking eyes, 
But I taught that guy a lesson, booked it right the fuck out of there. We gotta get Nick and Abby back to the lodge. Like, right now. Uh, hard agree. Also, why are you covered in what I hope is strawberry jelly? Oh, yeah, no, um, I'm pretty sure it's blood. It was this guy with like a, he had like a bottle. Like, I don't know, dude, it's like a really long story. Ew. Yeah, well, it's super fucked up. I gotta go get him. Uh, excuse me? Hey, I need this, okay? It's not safe out there. Dude, we gotta protect Nick and Abby. Yeah, and I need to save Emma, all right? She's out there alone. You don't even know if she's in trouble. You don't even know if you're in trouble. Are you trying to piss me off? No, I'm trying to save my girlfriend's life, asshole. Yeah, I don't think she's your girlfriend, dude. What? Get... Let go. Here, guys, you're acting like pricks, both of you. Jacob, we're keeping this. Nick and Abby are injured. We need protection. There's someone around here. <laughs> Brian. Sorry. <laughs> this is bullshit. Make sure she's safe. If she's on the island, she's definitely fine. And what? Risk another run-in with Captain Deliverance? No thanks. Okay. There's probably another boat by the zip line. Either way, I can make it to the island from there. We need to get back to the lodge. Try to get help. How? Nick can't walk properly. Wait, I have an idea. Oh. Look how well lit that wheelbarrow is. It's like it was majestic. It was. Okay, so for Emma, as soon as you start playing as her, uh, on the once you're on the island. Turn around and go down to okay. the end of the dock. Here's a riddle for you. You can find the what magician tarot card after the cutscene. And is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark. This fool. Well. Why does she have her phone? One Where does she have that? Thumb. It was in her clothes. What clothes? They had clothes. On a strange She's on the island. island. She's not at the boathouse. I don't know. Okay, full disclosure, I've suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island all alone with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a tree house over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing. Not that I want to go back because I don't. But even if I did, I can't. Because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. You know what? Sorry, I'm bending. Well, explore bending. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, fellow explorers. Well. It should show you. You take it. Is for guessing what these are. Can't say that I've used them. A little too au naturel for me, TBH. You know, I've never thought about where the waste goes. Oh. Well, please, God, no. Okay. We're gonna just go ahead and ignore that. Meeting.
sleeping shelter. It's a shelter where you meet at. Okay, I'm trying really hard to make this interesting, but sometimes a thing just is what it is. I think I've made my point. And she's just walking around in a bra and dawn. Like it's oh, that was hot. Really? Yeah. So this yeah. island is like an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little. It's pretty cool. You're in your underwear still. Just kind of would float in the middle of the Wait, water. What? Kind of what? in the airbed. But I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child who's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all bluff about it, you know? <sighs> oh look. A metaphor in the narrative by mean of pork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life? I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. What the fuck? What? Oh, there's a woman back there. Should we go up or down? I would go up. I feel like up, up is the safe route. Okay, or maybe... moving up in the world. Let's do this. Now you might notice the darling rustic vibes this walkway is radiating, and that's no accident. I don't know what y'all are doing with your walkways, but if you're not spending a full hour pulling a splinter out of a snotty kid's finger, don't you dare call it authentic. Don't worry, the kid was fine. I'm a good counselor. And what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well... So enlightening. Real words, wisdom. I feel like we went the wrong way. I feel like this was a mistake. The railings, there might be some kind of thing. How long is this walkway? Probably covers the whole island. And it or leads to that tree house she mentioned earlier. This is where we're heading. Not too shabby. Well, literally is too shabby, but these views, oh man, you're gonna blow your tops. There's also a zip line, which eh, I guess you can watch me crap my pants on that thing. What the hell? I'm here, aren't I? I'm gonna carpe this DM so damn hard it won't know what hit it. First, we gotta get there. And there's still so much to talk about. Oh, Lord. Um. She didn't hear what he said about Abby, though. That's up to you. It's your choice. You know what Jacob's real problem is? He thinks he's starring in his own movie. He sees everything like it's happening to him, oh, God. she says, reporting her own reality show. Ugh, whatever. He wants to be with me because he thinks it'll make him happy, when I don't think he's even ever thought about what I want. Yeah, you're sitting, okay, that's sitting here rambling Honestly, on. I think I'm deflecting. Rambling know, on, well, bringing it up. Meet someone at college and forget all about me. Good for him. He deserves it. Maybe I should start going all freaky clingy and stuff. Maybe that'll scare him off. Like, like show up at his house in a in a wedding dress or something like that. Loki actually considering it. But hey, because that's I not go, psycho then, at all. To turn everything I do into some sort of dramatic. What experience. is wrong with these teenagers? Turn off that stupid lamp. What? Turn off the lamp. The 
lamp. The reflections on the TV, I can't see shit. Go ahead and leave those right there. Mm. What happened? Sounds keys. Oh, and here we are, as promised. Why wouldn't you take them? Extremely rickety and even more underwhelming treehouse. In another world, perhaps young Jacob and I would settle down here and play house together. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well, now, that's a fine how do you do. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there. And now, look, it seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there. But I don't recognize this. Uh oh. Oh fuck. I don't like that at all. Do we Do we snoop through someone else's belongings or do we open the spooky trap door and Oh, that's a choice. Horrible, painful death. What are you going to go with? Oh. Uh, search the bag. Bag it is. And you know what? I'm putting some clothes on. This is all you're getting. Probably have to make a decision soon. <sighs> Goodbye, cruel world. The final curtain is calling, and there's no time for an encore. I said I wanted the bag. Uh, I don't know what to do. I'm frozen. Do one of them. Hurry. Yeah, so that's definitely a werewolf. Oh, I don't know why I'm pressing X for this. This is the world's slowest zip line. the trap door. Oh no. Press that X as hard as you can go. Oh my god, this is stressful. Yeah, that's gonna help. Got him. I can't believe nobody's died yet. Oh god. 
You're at the main house. Easy. I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? No, no, sorry. I'm just. I'm really hungry. We'll get you some food inside, okay? Yeah. Okay. Oh, man. I can eat a horse. Well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola? Oh, yuck, I hate granola. You didn't say shit about it being in the cutscene. I almost missed it. I was confused. It'll be alright. That was the last one for this chapter. BT dubs. This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something to eat. You and I are gonna find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yup. We'll come meet you. Copy that. Um, optimistic. I really hope they're gonna be okay. Do you think that whatever's left in the nurse's office is gonna come in? Caitlin knows what she's doing. Does she? I, I mean, she wasn't even supposed to be working at the nurse's office this summer. She only filled in because some other girl didn't show up. It's better than nothing. <sighs> come on, let's go call for backup. Pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No. Did you? A couple times. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you going? I... I, I, I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. Do you think the ghost is the tarot card lady? Uh, I don't think Nick's injuries are as bad as I thought. Hopeful. Well, that's good news. Yeah. So what now? We gotta call for help. Who should I call? Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? Who says 911? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. What wow. I asked for the police. Somebody ambulance. call 911! Determined. Uh, cops? Yeah, don't fuck around. There's hunters out there trying to kidnap us. So they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And I'll say, help, help. My friends may have been attacked by bears, but maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And then one of them was kidnapped by these hunter guys with blood on their faces, and there may have been shots fired, but not by us, but also maybe by us. And they cut my friend Jacob down from a tree. Separate incident. Long story. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. Okay. Nine one one. What's wrong? Dead. Suspicious. Well, that's weird. Phones go dead sometimes out here. Right when you're about to call the cops, though? It's a coincidence. You try the hang-up thingy. What? Here. What are you doing? I don't know. It's what they do in movies when the phone goes dead. <laughs> Tap on the little thingy. We're not in a movie. Okay, well, you know. Or no, you're in a movie. That. <laughs> Maybe that's just what they want you to think, man. So this phone's a no-go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some 
old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Let, let, let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. Calm. I will put it back when we're good and safe and help is on the way. Uh, okay, just careful with it. I'll be fine. Okay. Uh, it's, it's probably the weather. What weather, Ryan? Maybe, maybe it was the bears. Bear. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay, so for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power, what if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. We should probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaks. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's go. Oh, God. <laughs> we should probably leave that with Caitlin. Defensive. Do you think she really needs it, though? Uh, she needs it just as much as we do. She's staying in the lodge. We're going out there. You literally just said there might be something dangerous in the lodge. When? Like 20 seconds ago. Okay, sure. But that's because I really wanted the gun. Just give her the gun, man. Give gun. You don't want to keep it? You sure? Yes, Brennan. They already have one gun on them. So? Uh, They're going right. together. They yeah. only need one gun. That's what you think. Hey, we'll still have mine. If you're extra nice to me, I'll, I might let you hold it. Don't write a check that your ass can't cash. My ass has got quite the bank account. Gross. Yes. <laughs> And I interrupted something? Yeah, they're about to have... ...stuff happen. Chin up, big guy. It... I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it. Well, back here. Dude, how is she gonna zip line down that bitch? She's gonna die. So far, oh. Real slowly. <sighs> nope. How she not hear that? I honestly don't think you can die this early. I don't think they want you to think that they can. Why would you jump in the water? 
What is this music? This is like she just conquered something. I feel like something. we're in Twilight. What the fuck is up with this music? Music cue didn't make any sense. Oh, good to see you. Good to see you. <sighs> that time again, is it? Strength. You better pay Strength attention to what she says. Surprising. Me, you're Tell picking you again. Which why one? do I have to pick? I don't even think we've seen the last one. I suppose there are forces at work within us all. And with one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. The magician. The incredible, the unbelievable, the mystical, sensational. Perceptive manipulation. The work of a magician. Now you see it, now you don't. Blink and you miss it. And you wouldn't want to miss it. As always, there's more to see. And as always, the choice is yours. Would you like What reason to wouldn't you more? want to see? I guess if you just didn't want to make your own decisions. Choose one. Choose wisely. The magician. Oh shit! Did he just cut off his arm? Well then. So it's goodbye again. I'll so is that what you're supposed to do, or what you could do? That's an outcome. Remember who's looking out for you. There's probably a choice whether or not to cut off his arm or not. And they're just showing you. 